Ready? Episode number five. You are now live at five with Bike Beers and Bros. It's your man Luke Hikes. Ride Bikes More, where we're pushing bicycle awareness all over the world. Yep. And your boy Be Fixed the God, which is streets only, streets always. And then we got a special guest today, my man Sam, one that does it all from your own ride to personal training to photography, photography <laughs> to food prep. Yes. You yes. name it, this guy does it. We've so, been friends for a bunch of years. I'm glad to finally get him out here. Today we are drinking Lone Star. And it is April 27th, 2021. Yep. So we picked, we picked Lone Star, or Cheers. I picked Lone Star today Cheers. because Cheers. Me and Sam started out a bunch of years ago on Liquor and Wood Ride, and that's, that ride is synonymous with Lone Star here in Houston, so I feel like we should take them back to the old days for today. Yeah. And then, Big up to yep. Liquor and Wood this weekend. Do it up. Yep. Chopping it up, chopping it up. Speaking of this weekend, mm -hmm. just a little bit of house cleaning. There are several rides that are happening. We have the MS150 that is happening. Check out their webpage, their website, their social media to find out more details and again go liquor and wood on that and all the other groups that are going to be on that have yeah, a great yeah, time be going, safe be safe on that ride uh, there's also a ride in austin this bmx ride if you go to ride bikes more i've posted some of those rides on there so you can get connected to those rides and there's one in humble civic center here in texas as well so that one is happening it's a street fest and again go to ride bikes more and check the feed and you'll see that stuff there what else did we... what else we got for housekeeping today uh tip of the day which we said we're let the guests do tip of the day for today right well the tip yes. of the day today is specifically because going back off piggybacking off what he just said there are all these different rides happening this weekend must hydrate remember to hydrate it's very important probably more important than carbon up because the hydration is more important. Remember what our bodies are made out of, mostly water, so hydrate. So uh, when we say hydrate, we're talking about water. Talking about water, maybe, alkaline water. Maybe the power aids, the... Uh... And, you know, I don't highly recommend the power aids. I'm more, I'm more of the natural stuff, coconut water. Uh, mm. Yeah, that, that's the natural hydrant. Uh, you have just regular water. You have waters with alkaline in it already. So, you know, just, Bump yourself up with water because that's the most important. Tip of the day, stay hydrated. Yes. Yep, Some sure. more housekeeping is, guys, we're getting a lot of feedback about people that want to be on the show. Well, we need to know that you want to be on the show, so hit us up on the social media. Follow us on YouTube. We're trying to grow the channel. Right now we have two subscribers. And well, <laughs> speaking, speaking of the two, hold on, hold on. <laughs> guys, guys, hey, guys. Count guys. me in already. I'm going to go home and, 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 and subscribe. Guys, I think you're you are cannot, oh. you cannot come to me or come to Look and Be Mad if you haven't been invited to be on the show yet, if you don't even follow us on the platforms. Like, come on, like, we're all about promoting the bike community, but you should also be supporting us as well. Like, click that like button, click that subscribe, and don't, don't DM him, DM him. <laughs> like, oh, speaking of all those, speaking of DMs. There's Slide. a few of y'all, yeah. There's a few of y'all that's getting a little bit crazy in the DMs. <laughs> and uh, like I like talking to everybody, but don't send me any weird pictures. Don't send me any. <laughs> Just forward them over here. <laughs> don't, don't send me, don't send me like, uh, everybody wants to do the bike check. We're gonna start doing the bike check soon. Don't send them to the DMs. Um, send it to the actual show page. See, you would know this if you click the like button on the show page. Send it to the actual show page. We'll look through them. We'll get y'all on. We'll get all that taken care of. Now, uh, one other thing we have, we do have a giveaway for today. We're gonna do another screenshot challenge. You have to stay through the video to figure out when that is. We're gonna call it out. <laughs> Once we call it out, you have five seconds to screenshot it. Send it to us, and we're gonna pick one out of the let's say the first ten. The first, first 10. the first person. First person. Okay, fine, fine. For this one, we'll do the first person to send the screenshot. We'll get the prize. That's good. 
Right. And the last order of business, we are looking for brand ambassadors, yes. models, spokespeople, people that want to be involved and help grow the, not only the pages, but the community. So let it be known, send us a message, leave a comment specifically about that and not the weird stuff yeah. that he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, like, we're looking for an, maybe a somewhat of an assistant as well, like help with a little bit of editing and that kind of stuff. When I say assistant, I mean to help with editing and that kind of stuff. <laughs> not sure to sure. help with anything else. <laughs> we're good in those departments. Um, <laughs> what you do, like, keep it chill. He <laughs> said we're good in those departments. Nice view, by the way. I like it. Oh yeah, I, I love you. You gotta but, plug Steve-O. Yep. Speaking of, don't know where to go, call Steve-O. The podcast is brought to you each and every week. It's up for last week, but each and every week by Steve-O, Club Steve-O. Remember, if you don't know where to go, call Steve-O. Yeah, it is a nice view. Yep. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. So we'll go ahead and get started with Sam. Oh, wait, wait, one, one other order business. Speaking of Steve-O. All right. I think, I haven't told him this yet, but I think at, let's do at the next Massive Flights, we Which are going to do, aww, oh, okay fine, yeah, alright, at the next Massive Flights, we are going to pick a young lady to be sponsored by the podcast to go out with the great Steve-O of Club Steve-O. So okay. you all can get the Steve-O experience. Alright, you up for that? Okay. Is, is it going to yeah. be filming right. throughout the process here? I, I have no idea. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's new to me. But. Yeah. Very good. So Good, clean, fun, I'm in. Yep. But, how come no one ever asked me about my day? We did, we've done this podcast for like six weeks now. and How was your day? How was your day, man? Yeah, I mean, it was cool. Another day, another mile. Elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> another I mean, day, another mile. Yeah, yes, another day, another mile. Speaking of days, why don't you tell us about the day you guys met or... Oh, you wow, that. the day we met. We were probably a little tipsy. That's <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mean, it was yeah. liquor and wood. Yeah. <laughs> it was liquor and wood. Yeah, so yeah. it was definitely, definitely, what, five years ago? About five years ago. About five years ago, yeah, on a liquor and wood ride. I typically hang out with like the same people all the time, but he came through on one of his little customs and I was like, all right, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. <laughs> and that's when Lil Sam was actually little. It was before he was like, <laughs> he said, like most of Sam. Oh yeah, you do. Uh, I, 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 was, I was looking at pictures yeah. the other day. I was like, man, that sure used to fit me well. Now well, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> exactly. And it's not because I grew. <laughs> <laughs> not yep. horizontally, of course, or anything like that. Wait, which brings me to the username that you use. Yes. Sam Healthnut 101, is that Yes, right? that is correct. Well, tell us about that. Well, I use, that's one of mine. Uh, the reason why I use that is because, uh, number one, I used to be a little fatty. Uh, most of y'all don't know, I was a little fatty. Didn't know that. Mm. Uh, and, um, and so it got to a point where I, I got, I was borderline diabetic, mm. high cholesterol and so forth. And so I found one thing that worked for me, which was keto. Okay. I know some people are like, ah, 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 no keto or this fad, whatever. Listen, not all these fads or diets work for everybody. Yeah. It worked for me. In fact, I went to the doctor and they told me, okay, when you have high triglycerides, you're, you're, you're in danger. Mm -hmm. So I found keto. Three months later, went back. They said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you don't have high triglycerides anymore. Oh, wow. And so in three months, in three months yeah. I was, I was yeah. working out, yeah. I was, uh, I was eating healthy and so forth. And so that prompted me to, to maybe help somebody who was probably in that same need. And so I knew that I knew it was uh, very helpful. And, uh, I, I became very interested in, uh, working out, of course, at training and <clears throat> became certified in, uh, sports nutrition. I knew that if I was, thank you, thank you. If I, I knew that if I was going to promote a healthy living and sell meal preps, then that was key. I had something to back me up. So I became certified in that and uh, the rest is history. I'm, yeah, I said healthnut.com. And it was in fact, one of my uh, old friends who uh, we kind of joked around that, that name and, and she said, well, let's just call it name, Health Nut. 
said, okay, well, and it stuck. And so that's how it is. And tra transition us from that to bikes. Oh my goodness. Well, the bike scene was already in place, you know what I mean? But one thing I will say that um, so even though you were overweight and out of shape, you were still doing the bike scene. I was not doing the bike scene okay. as much. Yeah. Uh, I was doing, I was riding, but uh, trails back when I used to live up in Kingwood, just doing yeah. little trails. But um, after that, I noticed the big change and the big difference, and and how what I used to feel after the bike ride and during the bike rides, and then after I started eating well and then doing bike rides, then it was just complete night and day. Mm. Um, you know, your cardio, is, your heart, everything is affected by doing the bikes. It just, it's a complete overhaul of your system, which helps promote uh, your blood flow, your oxygen levels, and all of that is just great for your body. Yeah, you know, you, for sure. Biking is one of the best cardio, best uh, exercises you can do, because it really does work out every part of your body, including your internal organs. Mm -hmm. And your liver, of course. <laughs> exactly. Um, so now transition back. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going back and forth between the serious stuff and the light stuff. Sure, sure. I just remember something about that first day that we met. Do you remember running over somebody's head? Oh, wait a minute. That what? was me. Yes. Yeah. Do we even want to talk about that? <laughs> so I get. I was, yeah. I was on the like, way back, <laughs> on the way back, so the way the crew would wow. work I had was... no idea my question would open up this <laughs> Andorra's yeah. box no. here. So, so, the, so, so the way the crew would work, like back when, when social rides were actually social, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you rode to a midpoint, had some food, had some drinks, that kind of stuff. Yes, large rides can actually go to midpoints that have food and drinks. Mm. It's a long stay, though. Maybe. <laughs> but, so yeah, you do that, you know, you have a good time, and then you ride back. I don't remember who the individual was, but I do remember someone falling, and they fell, like, right in front of him. Oh. And so he did the right thing. Like, there are people on both sides, so he couldn't stop. He couldn't go over. So he tried to jump the person. Wow. And he pretty much jumped the person. However, like the tire. person kind of sat up a little. Yeah. And the back tire. So you're kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, as he's yeah, speaking man. about it, I yeah. remember. I remember it almost happened to me too. Yeah. I almost got ran over. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. I didn't remember that one. Yeah, yeah it's just, just, that's yeah. why I was like, wait a minute, which one of these memories is this coming <laughs> yeah. back? But yeah, that was, that was. Yeah. Well, yeah. one of the things I, I tend to do when I'm riding and there's people really close to me is I'll put my fingers on my brakes. Yes. Uh, I don't ride a fixie right now, so I have brakes. And <laughs> when there's too many people around me, I get on those brakes and I have yeah. those ready. Yeah. And I also try to get out of that traffic and get yeah. over to one side. And uh, can't always do that, but that's what I try to do. But yeah. man, you're riding that monster. You keep up. Yeah. Oh, that's that's commendable, man. Yeah, he yeah, has like a 40 pound bike and yeah. you just... Mm, all like, you oh. hear is the <laughs> squeak. <laughs> this, this weekend, that's all I heard. <laughs> We're not even talking about it. Don't ask. <laughs> that's so true. What did Brock so say? True. What did Brock say? Do you, do you hear a bird? <laughs> do you hear a bird? Oh, man. That was yep. funny. Though. That was for next time. Yes. Yep. No, but yeah. Yeah, man. Man, those were the times. Oh, yeah, really great times. I, I can't say I remember the first day when I met you, but what I mentioned earlier before we got started was um, we had ridden several rides together, and then once I rode the ride that you put on, we actually started talking because I tend to gravitate towards the front and mm -hmm. try to help out with the ride with the verbal left turn, yeah. right turn, stopping, and Anything else, you know, if someone says, hey, is there people falling back or whatnot or slow down? And that's where we start to talk. And he puts yeah. on a ride called Mucho Mucho Ride, uh, Miles, Mucho Mucho Miles. Yeah, man. And this last Saturday we did. 72. 72. Nice. something. Yeah, Miles. Nice. miles. What the hell is that? Yeah, Dude, I don't I'm know. I'm so sore. Are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, how did I miss this? Man, you don't miss it in two weeks. It's every two weeks. So, okay. yeah. That was pretty good. I appreciated that that first the first time that you rode with us. 
Um, it was our, it was my, the first time we we done it. Really? Yeah, that was the first time we did that. Wow, I didn't know that. And uh, come to find out, there was a slight change because we had that delay. I mean, there was two delays that we had, so we had to pump it up and mm -hmm. just go as fast as we could. Uh, and he was very helpful. He's like, you know, he comes to the front. Hey, you gotta slow down because we had to, we yeah. had to go. Uh, and I said, like, oh, I appreciate that. So You're a uh, no drop ride. It is a no drop ride. It's just that we we tend to take off, but we wait. Mm -hmm. We wait. We wait. So even if someone is slow, you're gonna wait. Course, no, well, we don't. We don't wait for someone who's slow. But we actually take off and then wait for them to catch up at a light yeah. or at a stop or whatever the case may be. However, we never leave them or just drop them completely. Okay, so never, you're, never, not, never. you're not dropping something. No, okay. no, no. So it's good that you bring that up because I've had to have that conversation with several people right. with rides that I've led, like recently. Because it's an, when you see the term no drop ride, it doesn't necessarily mean that the ride is going to go at your pace. True. It right. means that they will wait on you. Like so when we get up, we don't go at our pace and then when we get up to a light, we'll wait for you to get there. That doesn't mean that if, if you show up and you can only do twelve and everybody's going eighteen, that doesn't mean that we're gonna do twelve. That means that we will make sure that we don't leave you anywhere. Now, your opinion might be different on this, but I would say in order to do your ride, you have to be able to do a average speed maybe of 14 to 60 miles per hour perfect yeah, for perfect. up to 72 miles <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so right. if you don't yeah. think you can do that you know don't yeah no it's probably yeah. not best and i know that uh, a lot of people want to do it but and, and if you ask christy she'll say no he drops everybody because <laughs> she's always getting dropped christy yeah. sends you know what's oh, up. Called out. <laughs> yep. but, uh, well, she's cool. She always calls me out saying I drop everybody. But it's not the case. Hey, we wait for people. It just, it's, like, it's like I tell people, did I drop you or did you drop yourself? <laughs> like, like, uh, I was willing to wait, but you chose to go home. So I didn't drop you. You, you chose to. Well, and, and that's a good question. How long do you wait at the light for someone? Well, you know, we, especially us, we wait for the fix. When we had two flats that one time, and then this weekend, we had to pick up the kids. Speaking of that, yeah, we, um, we got shot at with paintball. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's an adventure when we do the rides. I wouldn't we call get, being shot at with paintball. <laughs> like, 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 we were what in the hood, though. Yeah, tell, tell them the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what? We, were, we were waiting, and something happened with one of the bikes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were waiting, it was a parent. We we're waiting for a pickup, uh, and they were waiting for someone to pick up the kids. Okay, I mean, but these kids were ready to go. It's mm. not like they were just you know there, you know, holding back the line. No, they were ready to go. But one of the bikes, of course, needed issue, had issues. We mm -hmm. had to pick them up. Okay, so while we were waiting there, we waited there about thirty minutes or so, because uh, we, you know, we didn't want to leave anybody behind. But yeah, anyhow, of course, we waited, and you know, fifteen minutes prior to us taking off again, we hear tap 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 tap. Some little kids obviously they were they shot paintballs Paint, wow paintballs. yeah man it was uh it got it got both of us it got my it got my bike it got my shoes it got my bike it got the yeah. rim but it was just a pain a little okay. bit it down. So, so what happened what did the cop say after no, no, you no. like shook the kid <laughs> and, <laughs> we didn't no, wait around we no, we no, left. and it was they were they were just driving by so it was it was uh, in the hood it was in you know but again they just kids, you know what I mean? We used, I'm sure we, one of y'all, if not all three of us, have done that. Uh, That's something questionable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've that. shot at random bikers with yeah. paintballs, I but I, I've done some some things that I'm not proud of today. If, if <laughs> it's illegal, do not do it. Yeah. Okay, we promote clean, good, legal from fun okay. here. And, and, I, and not only that, there was another Ride that we, well, one of the other rides that we did, uh, we got chased. Other, what? other kids were chasing us. <laughs> they were just kept, they kept riding behind Sorry, us. I mean, they really weren't going to do anything. They were just, I wow. guess, having their little fun, and uh, they kept chasing us. And then at the end of it all, they threw a bag of, I think, candy or chips at us. <laughs> just like, like, uh, thank you. Normally, uh, you know, you, you would get all back, but uh, it's not the moment. We're having fun. It's just yeah. part of the process. And sometimes it happens while you're riding. It's, even if you're riding by yourself, sometimes it may happen. 
yeah. get mom and dad or whatever the case may be. But yeah, if you have kids out there that have extra energy, get them a bicycle, get them into yes. the groups, and uh, yeah, get them to do that instead. Yeah. yeah, and and then maybe your kid will go from being the shooter to the, the shooting <laughs> to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> probably, not, probably not the thing to say, but you know, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, gonna make them faster. Yeah, but that's hilarious. Those rides are fun, man. I, I, I it's it, it all started with uh, with COVID. Hmm. You know, not many people were riding during COVID. Yeah, and so streets were empty. Empty. And so a few of us, uh, and Lalo, he's part of he's part of my, he's my right hand man when it comes to this. The shirts okay. and that too. So he, um, him and Rogelio and and uh, Eric uh, Montenegro, mm -hmm. uh, we just we would just ride together and just take off, and it just dawned on us the one time, hey, let's just do some lives. We went to city center. We went to all different, you know, you know, doing 45, 50 miles. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, man, we can make this happen. And, Sure enough, that's how Mucho Mucho Miles was born. Awesome. So yeah, it's, it's a fun experience. And you have an Instagram for it? I don't have anything yet in regards to that. We just have the logo, the shirts. But hey, the more we promote it, I'm sure yeah, we'll man. get that going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cool ride. It's, like I said, it's for everyone, but it's not for everyone. What what day, time, meeting? Uh, well, it's um, every two weeks. And the reason why I do it every two weeks is because, uh, you know, as you know, my son, uh, I have him one week and then the next week I'm free. So, mm -hmm. and it kind of gives everybody the chance to want the gym miles again. Yes. I think very often, so they probably <laughs> get tired. Yeah, that. you get kind of burned out. Yeah, yeah. Same thing for the rides. Exactly. And I try to do different routes. So it's every two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's either one week is on a Friday. So I try to be as flexible as possible because some people work on Saturday. So mm -hmm. uh, I do it on Fridays one time, one one week. The next week I do it on Saturday. Okay. So we, flip flop depending on, on the weekends and so it just gives everybody an opportunity to at least join once or twice yeah whatever they decide. and is it all city miles or uh, mostly yeah i mean okay. the reason why i do the city miles and the reason why i do i choose the different routes i have an app where i can just simply draw out that is, the route. is that why we kept doing you turn Saturday. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> we did like three. We did three U turns only Something because like we passed one up because we were talking. <laughs> I'm like, oh snap. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we were talking. Lame, lame. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's, it was you too. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. I was like, oh, wait a minute. But there was one where um, we definitely had to, it was a one way. We had to make a U turn. Yeah. But it, I mean, all of that is just part of the adventure. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. part of the, the fun. And you get to see different parts of Houston that you don't normally see if you're uh, even if, if you're in a car you're, you're whizzing by and mm -hmm. not paying attention with this I have found that and you, you get to see different little sides of, of Houston you can find different apartments different houses different neighborhoods it's just we go from you can tell the difference between neighborhoods as we're traveling because that's what I like to see you know it's like you see great houses and all of a sudden some sketchy areas mm -hmm. and then you see you know just New, new development, all kinds of, it's just part of Houston, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it's what biking should be. It's just different sceneries as you walk by, as you ride by. Unfortunately, it's at night, so, you know, but. What time do you start? No, see, I'm trying to promote it, starting at somewhere about six, even at 6.30. But okay. it, it is, yeah, because we get to ride longer and we don't have to come back so late. Yeah. But many people are, they don't get there for seven, seven thirty. They don't. You don't so, get out of work. So I'm trying to promote yeah. the fact that we want to do it early to come to come back early because we're going to do miles. That's the whole purpose of this is to do miles. So, but at, at the same time, my my thing is miles and no time limit. I don't have a time limit when I'm with when I'm not with my son. That's my free time. So that's the reason why I don't really care. So if he, those people that do have engagements the next day or so. You know, you may not want to, or you. And some people take off, which is great, and it's yeah. going to be all part of it. But yeah, <laughs> no. three, three a.m. That's what time I got home this last ride. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, well, and we started time, at though. seven p.m. Yeah, that's, we, that's, but that's a good time though. Like it was funny. Mean, huh? If you're going to do seventy last. miles, I that's a that's a good time. It is, and I, I always try to pick places where they will, uh, you know, not necessarily cater us, but at least you know look out for our bikes. Number one, you know, do they have a patio? Or in this case, like we went last weekend, we went to Molly's in Kingwood, 
They had a garage. They opened up the garage, we put all our bikes in there, yes. safe. Yes. Anywhere else, there's either a patio or somewhere where we can actually put our bikes, watch our bikes. And so, you gotta yeah. chain them up somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So I try to look for those places, catering places. I mean, they were very, you know, they, nice. were, they were short okay. staffed and still they were, they were nice. very, very uh, attentive. And so nice. I like that, you know what I mean? You, yeah, you I appreciated that. the place. Oh, really did. And good food. Yeah. And the food is good too. Not your yeah, good but when you have a, your bike and it's something that you really care about, being able to put it inside of someone's garage and not worry about it at all is great. Yeah. Yeah. All you're doing is eating, laughing, drinking, so no issues. I like that. I, I did want to uh, talk about something that grinds my beard. Oh. Once this noise Perfect. in the background passes. It is not, it is not the squeaking, right? <laughs> not <laughs> not <that>. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked a little bit about your start time, and yeah. I wanted to talk about start times in general for oh, social media. Oh, wow, perfect, okay. Right, I'm so, right here with you, yeah. You know, someone says they're gonna start at 7 p.m., and you start at seven, or you start at eight. I mean, what's going on? Yeah. What's your take on start times? Oh, me? Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, so I, that definitely, definitely slips my cog. Um, <laughs> I don't what what slips your cog? Um, when you don't, when you don't stay true to what your what your word was, if you if I come out to your ride and you say roll out at seven thirty, and we're still sitting there at eight eight thirty eight forty five, why are we here? Like I thought the purpose was to ride bikes. Like do what you said you're gonna do. I get it. People aren't there yet. You know what they have? Google. Share your location. So I'm gonna meet you on the ride. We're out. Like I hate that with the passion. Yeah, I, I, like I said, it grinds my gears when you, know, you say meet up at seven. We're gonna roll out at seven thirty, and then we're waiting till eight forty-five. Like I get it. We have a lot of good friends out there. We right. respect each other. We appreciate the friendships, but you know, tell everyone else that you're gonna wait till then, or yeah. I don't know. We work around it. What's what's your take? Yeah, well, that's the reason why we took off at 7.02. <laughs> uh, this past, we said we we're going to take off at 7, and we took off two minutes late. But the thing is that... And two minutes is very little. Yeah, it is. And some people, some people would be like... <laughs> what? <laughs> why exactly? <laughs> that's that usually means... Like, but but on. in the other room, it's, it's the truth. Uh, we got to, because yeah. especially... Uh, 72 miles. These rides, exactly. I mean, it's a lot of miles, so we try to get out there as soon as possible, catch some... Some sun rays still, you know, ride with, with the sun still out. Yeah, right? like, yeah. And so, um, taking off early is very, very important. I had people texting me at that time, but I couldn't attend to them because I was getting ready to just go. I can't, I can't wait. Everybody's ready to go. I can't wait on that individual. Sure, if I would have seen it, I would have said, hey, meet us here. I didn't because I was so busy getting mm -hmm. ready to go. But yeah, we, we can. We can wait, you know, if, you, if, if, for example, if someone would tell me, like you did, what you say? What time do you take off? You texted me earlier that day. What time do you take it off? At this time, he goes, okay, well, I'll be making it. And sure enough, what we did, we waited, but you got there before me. Yes. You got there before me. People so, didn't think you were going to get there. I wonder why. I didn't. Because it was like 6.50 p.m. And they're like, he's not coming, he's not coming. I think they didn't want you to come because <laughs> yeah. they're hoping. Yes, 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 it's a lot of miles. It's a lot of miles. Well, put it this way: I didn't even know it was going to be that many miles. It's, I just said, let's just let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's I didn't even ride. look at the miles. I said, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be more than fifty. The, the goal is on this ride is to always get fifty plus. So fifty plus. We definitely did it. Um, I tried to do different different routes every time, but mm -hmm. some people don't make it to didn't make it last week. So yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little slight different route this time. Okay. Uh, only because we actually went through. Um, we went through the uh, terminal. I'm not gonna I talk about that <laughs> on live. Uh, but I am gonna say it was it fun. Is, though. It was fun. We should do the giveaway. Let's do okay. it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the, that's the sound of. Giveaway starting. Ooh. <laughs> now you have to. Yeah, see, we got sound effects. Now, now you have to get What's it up on that, y'all. All right. So we're gonna hit the five second pose in three, two, one. 
All right. Somebody send in that screenshot. And First you. person to send in that screenshot will get a Mucho Mucho Mile shirt. Yes. Tell us about your shirt. Yeah, well, this this right here, this logo, is, this, the logo itself was was uh, created by Lalo. Mm -hmm. he, he, he created it. We kind of went back and here, forth. On that side. We yeah. kind of went back and forth with how, mm -hmm. how it's going to look and so forth. I said, you know what? Let's put it this direction and so forth. We chose the different colors of the uh, MMM, which are mucho, mucho miles. There's three um, M's in there. Yeah, there's three M's. And so. Yeah, it's not a broken chain. <laughs> it's not. So that's a representation of that. And so I said, yeah, let's go with it. And sure enough, we just, this is given out to those people that start and complete all miles that day. Nice. And of course, you've done it many, you know, already three, four times or so, two times? Twice. And so, of course, you got one. But whoever. Uh, Whoever sends in that screenshot is going to get this one. It's a medium, but if if you're small, no worries. We can get you a small. All right, so now my question is, is it always going to be the same color, or is it different color each month? No, this is right. pretty much same the same color. color. Okay. Now, of course, this is... No, you have different colors. Oh, as far as the shirts, yes. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, shirt, yeah. the shirts are different colors, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, okay. You don't do it by month or anything? No, no, no. You let the person the pick. Uh, or is it based on size, size. and availability? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. It's really what it is. Okay. I mean, it's, cool. it, it's free, and you know, it's, if you really want a custom made, we can definitely get a custom made. It's gonna be twenty dollars, but you can get a custom made. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the idea is you finish the ride and you get a free shirt, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that exactly. is absolutely awesome. It's just something that we just do it. This is we, it, yeah. And yeah, exactly. You know, it's yeah. you're, it's a win-win situation. Lalo and I, we go half on. The expenses is not anything that we say, oh man. I mean, this is coming out of your own pocket. Own pocket yeah, yeah, it's not, it's our own pocket that it comes out of. So he has to connect. We, you know, we, he's able to, we were able to put our creativity together and, and roll with it. So thank you. Much so props to you, Lalo. You that? So, like, you. that's something else to add to the list. We have the list of ride leader, food prep, fitness guru, bike builder, now charitable as well. Like, you hear that he's saying he's paying for your passion. Like, you can't get any better than that. Absolutely. I will go back to that bike builder thing, you know. Big ups to Steven. Oh, all, yes. all I oh, did, definitely. all I did was just basically choose what he said. He laid it out on the table and he said choose. I said, all right, nice. I want this. I don't know, how, I, I will tell you this right now. I love bikes, bikes are my passion. I love mm -hmm. riding bikes, but I will not spend my time putting together a bike. I'd rather mm -hmm. give it to somebody else and awesome. let them do it. So that's just and if me. you're going to give it to anybody, Steven's a great person okay. to give it to. He, Steven knows what he's doing. He's actually scheduled to be on the show next week. Yep, next Steve week, man. Okay. We, have, we have Steven coming in. From Fixed Up Bike Shop. Mm -hmm. So, cool. yeah. Yeah, that's gonna Good be a way to transition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's, it's like you're already doing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> <natural. laughs> exactly. Wow. No, it, may, it may be a, a, a person, a three person show, pretty soon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll have you behind the camera. <laughs> I'm just behind the scenes. We we'll, we'll need someone to edit. <laughs> exactly. No, he'll be the one that's like calling out the transitions from back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this camera. Right? This, this camera. camera. Exactly. This. <laughs> But I want to get into the, the food prep because that's something that you've been doing for a while and yeah. people don't understand how important it is to eat right, especially as a cyclist. When well, you're doing anything sports related, but especially as a cyclist. Yeah. So before we get into like the services that you do offer, actually, what do you usually eat before you ride? What I, to tell you the truth, um, I actually, if, if, if it were my choice, number one, if it was, I'm not, I don't eat anything before I ride, mm -hmm. socially. However, before I do long distance rides, when I do training, it's a whole different story. Um, I do, uh, number one, I eat a banana or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. Now, does that consist of white bread? No. It's definitely whole grain, uh, you know, as clean as possible, uh -huh. and that's, that's what I do. Because I know, you know, you feed the body, it produces the energy that you give it. You know, okay. trashy food, you know, it's good. trashy results. That's just what I believe. And, and that holds you for the it, it, halfway point? It, it, it holds me to the halfway no point. No snacks, no? No, just water. Just water. Just water, really. Uh, and I, because I normally fast from either 9 p.m. to 1 o'clock the next day. I fast every day except for the weekends. Um, and it helps me uh, re energize my body, my cells, everything. So mm -hmm. fasting is very, very useful, very helpful. And so I do that every day except 
and again for the weekends. Uh, so by the time that I'm writing socially, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I've already eaten my meal of the day. It's like today, if I were writing, you know, I took my lunch, had some uh, spaghetti, mm -hmm. you know, buckwheat spaghetti with uh, turkey. So when, we, sorry to interrupt. so when we go to the taco trucks, are you not ordering tacos? Hey, hey I'm ordering tacos. I, I can't say no to tacos. Now, I, I can, I can, I'll can, eat me two or three tacos. I won't eat me five or six, you know what I mean? Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, does it, because I eat clean or I eat healthy uh, the majority of the time, does that mean that I don't eat uh, tacos? Tacos or, which is my, my kryptonite is burgers. A custom burger. Oh, uh, that's what we ate this weekend. Oh, yeah, man. Yes, they were good. Well, wait, the, yo, hold on. We got, we got to cheers to that. Cheers, man. man, that was a good burger. It was huge, too, and yes. it was delicious. Oh, my goodness. Ma Molly's pub. Flame burger. Now, hold on. Yeah. Well, while, you're, while you mentioned that, you said it was huge and it's delicious. Because there's something that I subscribe to, and I know other people subscribe to something different. When you eat, do you eat to sustain or do you eat to get full? Oh no, to sustain. Once you start okay. eating to get right. full, that's when the same way. Yeah, right. once that's whenever you're basically overindulging, number one, which is no no, no problem with that. However, if you're you're stressing your body. Mm -hmm. You're putting stress on your body because your digestive system is saying, Okay, it, it's gonna take longer for you to digest that food, especially depending on what you're eating, you know what I mean? So it's stressing your body out. What your body needs to do is concentrate on keeping you alive. When you eat too much, just concentrating on number one, digesting, and then trying to expel garbage. So it's not it's not it's not focus on rehabilitating you, uh, regenerating your cells, and that's what you want. That's the reason why I fast because it does that. You rest your your system, your digestive system, and it helps uh, regenerate your cells. Look at it. it's scientific. It's proven facts. So. Now you said you were certified sports nutritionist. Sports um, nutritionist. Yes, sports nutritionist. And that's amazing. That's awesome. And I would just say, disclaimer, see your physician before you change your diet or do any yeah, physical yeah, for sure. activity. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, we are here for entertainment purposes. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah. But um, if you want to know more, yeah, then pay, the opinions expressed by us does not make it law. Right. So, yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, I mean, I am a face to God. So if you subs if you subscribe to what I'm saying, <laughs> this, eh, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> but you know, like I'll come talk to your position, talk to Sam. Don't just take what I say. Don't just take what Luke says. Do your due diligence for yes. sure. I mean, because not every not every not every diet Person. fits for everybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everyone's and, different. Yeah, it's everyone's different, and that's why in, when I used to when I. Okay, so now I don't sell my meals. Okay. I don't have the time to, and I had to stop. It, it really pained me because I had loyal customers and customers that were really benefiting off of meals. And so uh, when I had to stop for purposes of family, personal purposes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just, I it just, unfortunately, it was unfortunate, but. but. But that's why you're here now, because you get to talk to the people. Yeah. You heard that people. You heard that audience, you heard that platform. He had to stop because he didn't have the time. All of you chefs out there that's looking for something, get with the man, reach out, we can make something work. Yeah, yeah and, there's, and there's a need for it. Here and within our community, within our biking community, outside, there is a need for someone to create not only healthy, but very tasty food. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'd be happy to share some of the recipes with people. Oh yeah, for sure. You, right? The recipes we put together like that, and it was just That's because awesome. I, I have a passion for, for cooking as well. I love cooking. So I know some of y'all have tasted my food and mm -hmm. would definitely agree that I don't mean to toot my own horn, but when someone tells you, someone who's already in the business cooking, and says, wow, this is, this, you wouldn't think this is healthy, well, because I'm all about that spice. Yep. Hey, there you go. In fact, you know, see, I like that. I love that spice. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do. Even if you're not a chef, if you're a capable intern that might be interested, either comment on one of his pictures or comment on the show when it airs. All about that spice. 
and we'll reach out to some of you. Yeah. 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 Let us know if you want one of his recipes. Yeah. 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 Cause it really yeah. sucks. Yeah. It really sucks that, that he had to shut down for these reasons. Like we want to get it back out there. We want to get it back out there in the community. Cause if it's one thing about me, we all know. Brandon loves the kids. <laughs> We fix the guy, I love the cycles. I love the community. I'm about the community. And now we have we have dogs running. Yeah. They're all over the place. Sounds like we got a party behind yeah. us passing through. Yeah. Party. Yeah, they were they're pretty hard. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, like I said, like we're all about the community. We're gonna get it back out there. So comment about the spice on one of Sam pictures at Sam Health Nut. Or comment on the page. The page, this page right here. This is the most important platform right now. So y'all get on it, get in, get like, it. comment, subscribe. This is good. I'm glad y'all doing this. It's kind of it gives a um, uh, an overview, uh, an insight on what you guys like to do, which is number one, biking. I know the majority of, of the people who will subscribe. Hopefully not. Obviously, we want everyone to subscribe, but it will be bike riders or people that know us, that know you guys. And uh, this is actually pretty good. I, I wish you complete success. Keep it going because people need this. We we all need this. You know what I mean? It's we don't all know about everything there is to know about bikes. So, yep. You know, and this little tips, little little conversations, little bits of information can always be beneficial. Exactly. I mean, even for even for us that do know almost everything there is about biking. Except for Billy Boy, man. There's always a little bit more that we can learn, you know what I mean? <laughs> but see, and I love this. Like, this is a positive, positive conversation. I love this, man. Like, this, in fact, I'm in a, I'm in a mood, a mood to give away a bunch of stuff just because of that. So I tell you what we'll do right now. Um, we already talked about the shirt giveaway. Yes. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do another. We're gonna do a cheers. So this time. You gotta do it for the new one. Yeah, yes. chug that. This <laughs> time. All right. So so this time what we're gonna do is instead of the instead of the traditional screenshot, the first person above twenty one to. Like the video and comment cheers. We'll get a free six pack of Lone Star since that is the beer of the day. Ooh. Right? Very good. Starting after the cheers though. Over 21. Only Over 21. Yes. yes, for sure, for sure. And I'll throw in a different move. And I'll throw in a recipe. There we go. Oh. There we go. And they're not really difficult, believe me. It's just how you prepare and what ingredients you use. This really makes the difference. I mean, but yeah. And just let me know, I'll cook it for you. Or you know, since we're in such a giveaway mood, <laughs> since we're in such a giveaway mood, we're going to give away a pure fix on tri spokes. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess oh, we're going okay. to. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh. Okay, maybe not thinking. Not thinking yet. All right. Uh, but but you definitely get the six pack and a free recipe cooked by. You know what? Y'all don't get the cook by. Y'all just get the recipe. Cause I just had an idea. Mm. We said we're gonna like sponsor an evening for a young lady, Steve-O. Bam! You wanna? I'll do it. You wanna cater? I'll do it, bro. Cater that? I'll do it. There we go. I'll do it. All right. See, now we're talking, man. I'll do it. You got three choices. Three choices. Three choices, three choices, three choices of, of a meal. Very good. Well, yes. I'll provide the choices. You pick yes. out of that. That way I know exactly what to get. It won't be any issues. Bam. It'll be paid for. I really hope you're keeping up with these giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just all that talking. No, <laughs> we know. So here's the thing. Like, right I feel like, I mean, we're just starting out. We have to be here for the ones that do support us. Because half of y'all just talk. Like, y'all don't really support us. Like, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen a bunch of subscribers yet. So, Probably like, so I'm saying y'all just talk. But... For the ones that do, though, like I have to show them love. I Absolutely, feel you. I feel you. So, I so I'm I in a really some, good mood. Uh, I got some bike lights coming that we're gonna give away, but I'm waiting for them to arrive before mm -hmm. we give them away. Yeah. Okay. And some more merch from Ride Bikes More. We're gonna give that stuff away too. But again, once it's here. Cool. Yep. Cool. Yeah. That's neat. That's neat. 
That's good, man. It's all, I, I like this. I like this. It's a good vibe. Bites, beers, and bros. Exactly. So, we got a few more minutes. Anything you want the uh, cycling community to know, or bystanders, or people in cars, anything oh, you want to yeah. get off your chest, or just partake? Well, number one, we're not all assholes when we take up lanes. It's for a reason sometimes. Mm -hmm. There are Good these point. few individuals that will just straight to the left. We're supposed to be right. But the majority was not all about, you know, hogging up all lanes and so forth. Uh, we do want to be friendly with cars because obviously if, we, if there's a war between the cars and the bike riders, cars will win. Therefore, I love myself too much and will not challenge <laughs> a vehicle. Uh, no, no, of course not. But, you know, it's, it's the truth. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you got to make a turn or so forth and so on in front of a car. It happens. But the majority of the time, we're not all assholes. And so, um, give some respect. Give what? What is it? Six feet? I, I think. Fifteen feet? I think the law <laughs> is you're supposed to, drivers are supposed to give three feet yep. when passing. Mm -hmm. And bicycle riders can take the entire lane if they want or need to. One lane. Yeah. Yeah, they can take the lane if a lane is not provided for right. them. Exactly. Not many people know yeah. that, especially when you, and this is just my perception of things. Maybe I, I could be wrong, I don't know, but when we're in the hood, right in the hood, many people don't know that we do yeah. have a right to be there. And yeah. that's the reason why, guys, I mean, I, it's not because, oh, you know, I want to I wanna go to these other places that are not not the hood and so forth. It's the reason why, because if I'm leading a ride, I want to make mm -hmm. sure that we all safe. get there, come back, all safe. And in the more prominent neighborhoods, people know that hey, these bike riders do have a a lane. They do respect. But when I'm in the hood, if it happens, and it happens all the time. Yeah. And they feel like, what are you doing on the street? You're a bicycle, you're not supposed to be on the street. It happens. We have to deal with that. And most of the times, 99% of the times, we come out the skate. We're mm -hmm. fine. But there will be those times where, uh, you know, we're going to have a little altercation or whatever the case may be. But it's just part of bike riding. It's not yeah. something that we can avoid at all times. It happens even in the prominent places. What I'm saying is, it's more, it's more obvious, in, you know, in the hood. And, and so that's a good message to the hood. I think that message should also go to, to the media. Like right now, things are developing faster than the information is getting out. Like the whole three feet thing, it's been around a few years, but the mass majority of people don't know that because it's not covered enough. Mm -hmm. And so, so you have to understand, the media has to understand that and try to do a better job of also informing people of the current rules of the road. Yeah. I not just what you knew when you went to very you know, when you went back then. Yeah. I, th I think it would be great if radio stations and yep. the T V news stations would do a 10, 15 minute segment to say bike riders have these rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean yeah. that would be amazing. And not even ten. I mean just a little snippet of yes. hey, every day, every so often, hey, yeah. Uh, you know, media, news, everyone should should promote this, but it's not being promoted. Especially Houston is one of the worst bicycle cities, you know, in the states. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is. Whoa. In the states, it is. We are just now beginning because it remember, is. we work very It's a baby bike city. Yeah. It has a lot of bikes, but it's a baby bike city. No, what I'm saying, yeah, we're, as far as the acknowledgement and recognition from other yeah, it's like it, yeah, we have our bike lanes, but this is this is something new that has been coming in with the last what, maybe ten years, maybe if that. And, um, and currently, eighty percent of our bike lanes lead to nothing, or no. they're full of trash and debris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. it's just Houston is becoming, or it wants to get there, but it hasn't gotten yeah. there yet. But a lot, you know, it's just all in, in the government. Yeah. Such and we're not saying it's a trash Houston. We're saying it's bring awareness so that we know that. This currently is not like what a uh, more traditional bike city looks like. True. It's come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. That is like, true. So the city has to understand that. And just like I put the media on blast and he put the hood on blast, the bikers, this goes for y'all too. Like, understand that people don't know. Right. Not all the time where they, when they're honking at you and that kind of stuff, not all the time are they trying to be assholes. So maybe instead of meeting them with aggression, use that opportunity to teach. 
instead of education uh, opportunity. That goes to me because I'm all I'm always. Oh yeah, me too. Don't get me wrong. Like I've taken it. We talk about things we're not part of. I've taken quite a few mirrors. Um, speaking, like speaking, of, speaking of which, we were. I was on a ride. I think it was last Thursday or Thursday before that. And uh, what ride was that? I could have told I, you not to do that. Probably no. the, 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 the cannabis ride. Oh, okay. And there was a guy that was right on a guy in a car that was like right on riders, right mm -hmm. behind them. So I decided to start recording them um, so that maybe he would decide to slow down because now he's being recorded. Mm -hmm. And he just decided to flip me off and call me an asshole for recording them, I guess. And uh, I tried to explain to him that it's a simple bike ride that there's probably nowhere in the world that he needs to be in such a hurry that mm -hmm. he's right on the tail of different riders. And so. You have to be careful out there when you're dealing with people like that because you're angry that you're in the way of wherever they're trying to get. It's true. It's true. And unless you know, now nowadays, well, this is years ago, it looks like, but I was one of those individuals who always said, well, why are these bikes on the road? Now when I see a bike ride on the road, I get way, way yes. Yes. It, yes. But you have to be conscious. And, yeah. and in reality, you know, it's all about being as conscious yourself uh, about who who's out there, uh, even though we we like to drink and there are the other recreational things, but you always have to have that in the back of your mind, consciousness that not everyone's going to meet you very friendly. You know, we, we have to we have to have that alertness. Yeah, I would say tell people that drive to yield to bike riders, right? Just yield to bike riders. It's so much easier to wait five, ten, fifteen minutes than to get into some type of situation that it's going to take years of your life to resolve. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And new silence if y'all have, if you have issues with getting that out there, holler at the God. You should give me two minutes. Two minutes on either of the shows. It doesn't matter besides the channel too because I don't really, you know, y'all are weird. <laughs> but but any, other, any other channel, like, give me two minutes of the show. Two minutes. It takes, what, two minutes to go? In fact, you know what? It only have to be two minutes. Put me on camera for however long it takes me to do a half a mile. <laughs> I will ride and give a daily report for you so you all can give out proper information from a rider while riding. Sounds like gold to me. It does. All right, holla at the guy. You got the Instagram, obviously, if you're watching this. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, man. So, so, where y'all going? Where y'all taking this? Y'all want to take it to Hollywood or what? No, 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 no. Just local. No, we're, we're for we're for the streets. We're here, we're here for the streets. We don't we don't need to be Hollywood. We're we don't need to be. Yeah. We're yeah. bringing bicycle awareness to, to the all world. the world. Yeah. Yeah. We, we want, want, we want people to ride more bikes. We want less cars. We want a greener earth. Right. That's part of the reason we're doing this is to promote that healthy lifestyle and get some exercise out there. Um, Less of those emissions in the atmosphere, right. and uh, and we yeah. want biking to be fun again. Bring fun biking back. But back, yeah. no, back to you. What else do you want to tell the people before we cut out here? Oh, well, yeah. and plug just, it, plug your stuff. All, no, plug all, all I gotta say is, hey, riders, bike riders, just keep riding. New riders, anybody who you know, because I always, I always categorize bike riders. And you have the OGs, I mean, like the old school. First began hit the scene here in Houston. Then you have a bunch of us who came in right in between. Then you have the new, the new generation. I call them the COVID bikers because in, in reality, when COVID hit, you had a slew of riders that came out because that's all you can do is ride. And the, the, I don't want to promote contention between you know the different bike riders. Let's just all ride. Yeah, it's all about riding. Does it matter what kind of bike someone brings to your True. event? True. No, it doesn't. You know, all, all they need to do is be able to keep up. Yep. If you can keep up with a BMXer like Caesar did this weekend. Caesar's a BMXer and yep. so is Joel. Yep. They ride. They, oh yeah, that's right. Joel, they, he was he was riding. And BMXers. he has a loudspeaker on his back. Bump it. Bump yes, it's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. you know, it's just all bikes welcome, yeah. especially on, on mucho mucho miles. All bikes welcome as long as you can. There, there are a few groups or I don't know cliques that 
want you to have a certain look and style, but uh, we're here to promote everything. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. We're not, we don't have fun on your bike, however you do that. Yeah. Burn rope. Is what that's what that's from that movie? Burn rubber not your soul. Burn rubber, not, burn rubber not tires or burn rubber not condoms. Yeah, so, we'll definitely do that too. <laughs> I think we're going to wrap it up and Very then we're going to do a uh, yep, a bike check video oh. on Sam's bike. But so we got Sam here, Sam Helpnut on Instagram. Cheers, Cheers baby. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Plug it, plug it, plug it, man. Plug it. Oh, come on, we got Sam, it's your turn. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Ride back sport. Yes. Go ride back sport. It's right. all about back sport. And then you guys, you boy, be fixed to God here. I'm always, everywhere. Holla at me. Except at home. Except <laughs> on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. But, Share it. But put before it on we YouTube. go, yes. while we're keeping it real on two wheels, um, <laughs> so I'm trying to make that stick. So you have you have to like make it seem, but you can't like look at me like like it's a horrible statement. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> like I'm trying to make it stick here. All right, so redo. All right, while, two wheels on two wheels. While we're keeping it real on two wheels. Nice. There we go. All right. Um, what's bigger than the Christmas tree? Boom. Damn. What's bigger than the Christmas tree? Santa. Christmas four. <laughs> and on that, and on that note, we are out. <laughs> Please. <laughs>